This video is sponsored by Vengage. Hi everyone, I'm Steffi Hogan with Creative Pro and today I will show you how to use all of the shape combination tools within PowerPoint. What am I talking about? Okay, let's say I have two shapes selected right now. When I do that, up in the ribbon, a contextual menu called Shape Format will show up. If we click on that and then go all the way back over here to the right, um, you'll see this uh, icon right here. If we click on that drop down. These are all of the shape combination tools. We have union, combine, fragment, intersect, and subtract. So how do we use these? One, how do you remember how to use them properly? Uh, we'll go over a couple tips. It's important to know that it does matter what order you select your shapes in. So if I select this purple cross first and then the heart, and then I use any of these shape combination tools, the formatting of the purple cross will carry through because it was selected first. So really a friend of mine, a great friend of Creative Pro is Mike Parkinson, and he coined this these terms or sentences a long time ago, and we all use them religiously. First, you select the cookie dough, and then you select the cookie cutter, because the cookie dough is what's going to maintain, your cookies are gonna look like the cookie dough, not the cookie cutter, right? Anyway, so let's go through what they do. This is the original set of shapes across the top, and then on the bottom, I have you know the same set of shapes, but we can go through what they each look like depending on the function we choose. First, I will select the cookie dough and then I will select the cookie cutter. And now we can go up to shape format, come over to our fun drop down, and choose union, which is what this example is. And what that does is then takes these two shapes and turns them into one. And let me demonstrate for you. If I had selected the cookie dough first and then the cross, the resulting union would be that semi-transparent blue. It does not matter the layer order, the stacking order of the object, it just matters um, how you select them in what order you select them. So that's union, we have one shape. All right, let's do combine. We'll select the cookie dough and then the cookie cutter, so we'll have a purple something at the end. What does combine do? Well, let's find out. And you get to see previews as you hover over each of these options within the menu, which is immensely helpful. So here we are in combine. Now what that does is make one shape, but it just subtracts the overlap. What about fragment? If I select the cookie dough, it's blue, and the cookie cutter will be my, my purple cross. Let's go to fragment. But what this does is take the two shapes and the overlap portion, it just breaks them up into their own unique shapes. Okay. Next, intersect. Cookie dough, cookie cutter. Let's go and see what intersect does. That one will keep only the overlapping portion and get rid of everything else. So it is the opposite of combine. And then subtract. Uh, so if I subtract, there we go, we have that heart shape cookie cutter section gone. So there you go. Those are the shape combination tools in PowerPoint. I encourage you to go play and have fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.